another 3-3-0 three, three and o team. We had the Pittsburgh Steelers, a surprising 3-0 and o to some. Not to me, actually having started start, 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 start the season off 9-1 and one, versus the 1-2 and two Indianapolis Colts. Mark, right now the Pittsburgh Steelers have a 54% chance of winning this game. Tell me how the Pittsburgh Steelers can go into Indianapolis, Indiana and beat the Colts this weekend. Okay, so my three keys of this game. Um, number one, Justin Fields is coming off the best game he's played this season. He had 245 yards, a touchdown, but he did throw a pick. He had overall 96 rating, which isn't bad. Um, one thing he needs to do, he needs to avoid sacks. Their Pittsburgh offensive line is atrocious, and he's got the feet to move around, so he needs to avoid that. Like, he had four sacks against Indy last week. That's not going to work. Also, their run game needs to get going. The run game wasn't good last week. They had 28 attempts for 63 yards. That's not going to do it. Uh, and lastly, their defense has been playing solid. I think the whole reason why they've been winning is because their defense is so freaking good. And I think they, the biggest thing is them shutting down Jonathan Taylor. That is their biggest offensive threat. Indy, um, he had 110 yards last week, two touchdowns. That guy's a beast. Yeah, so I concur with everything that you said. Defense is definitely key for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And, of course, Justin, Judge, Justin Fields balling is a big thing. But I think the Indianapolis Colts can, quote, pull off the upset this weekend. I really think if they run the ball with Jonathan Taylor over and over and over again, run it right at T.J. Watt and that Pittsburgh Steelers defense, they can have some success. Right now, Jonathan Taylor has 261 yards so far this season, which is good for seventh in the NFL. And I think if you continue to tote, tote, tote him the rock, he could definitely break 15, 16, 1700 yards this season. Next up is kind of take the training wheels off of Anthony Richardson. Yes, I understand you want to protect him from, from himself, but what made Anthony Richardson so great in college was his ability to roll the pocket and the ability to scramble when he needed, much like Lamar Jackson does, right? The, the ability to stretch the play. And right now the culture kind of handicapping him forcing him to stay in the pocket. I think if they just let him play and let him be him, they will do well. Next up is I think the defense. The 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 defense has kind of been a unsung hero for the Indianapolis Colts per se. They are quietly, you know, putting up some decent numbers week after week after week. Yes, they are 1 and 2, but if you look at the Houston Texans game, they held the Houston Texans to under 30 points. They, they held the Green Bay Packers under 16 points, and then they held the Chicago Bears last week under 16 points as well. That defense is starting to click and get better and better and better. So let, let JT run the ball, take the training wheels off of Anthony Richardson, and let that defense just eat. Get pressure on Justin Fields, force him to make some upsets. So, Mark, I give you my spiel. you giving me my, your spiel. Who do you got, Pittsburgh Steelers or the Indianapolis Colts in this week's game? Even though my spiel was about the Steelers, I think you're right. I think if they let off the chains of Richardson and let him run more than throw, because his accuracy is bad. It's really bad. So maybe if they could just get him going run-wise, that would help them. And I, I can see them giving the ball to Taylor a whole lot. So, yeah, I can see them winning. I'm going Indy. Yeah, I am going Indianapolis Colts as well as I do have the Pittsburgh Steelers start, starting off the season nine to one this 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 season. The one loss was to the Indianapolis Colts because whether you like it or like it or like or like it or not, Mark, Indy is a tough place to play. It is obnoxiously loud all the like all the time, and just it just it it just feels weird every time I've been to a Colts game rooting for the for for the opposing team, whether it be the Chiefs or the Cowboys or anybody but the Colts. I'm just like, man, you guys are freaking obnoxious. Just shut up. Like, I can't even hear myself <laughs> self thinking there because, well, it's a like it is a dome and it just echoes and it's just it is it is just consistent. But I think the Colts defense really steps up and really wants to sh flex on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Like, you know what? We have a good team as well. Sam wants a final score prediction on this game. A final score prediction, Mark. Um, do you know what the, the spread number is? Uh, let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Are you are you looking about the over or under or the actual spread? The, the over under. Uh, where's that here? Let me click on it. Bada bing, bada boom. The over under is 40, 40. 5 and is a two point two point five spread in favor of the Steelers. 
maybe um, 21-24, and they cover. I think the first person to, or, or the first team to break 16 points win this game. So it'd be a 16-13, 16-12 type of score in favor of the Colts. Uh, so I like the Colts as well in a low, low scoring game. Jameis says the Colts win if they run the ball successfully and get in the end zone because Steelers struggle to score touchdowns. That is true. That is true. The I want to say, was it their first game? I know their second game where they had, they only scored field goals in the game. They didn't score a single touchdown. Yep. Uh, they went to the red zone, I believe, five times in that particular time and walked with zero touchdowns each and every time. However, last week they did score three. So maybe they're starting to trend up a little bit. Um, Kevin is saying, obviously, you don't watch Buffalo Bills game. Uh, we were referring to last year. Demar Hamlin only played like 13 snaps last season. He is starting this season, and, and he 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 is actually playing well. I, 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 I will give you guys that. Derek says, got this. Richardson about to ball out. Colts is the listen. If Anthony Richardson lives up to half of the hype that he was given to, I mean, we Mark, we have to understand the Colts drafted a project quarterback and they knew they drafted a project quarterback. That's why they had Garner Minshew as a backup last season to 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 kind of teach him and kind of like not get thrown to the wolves. Well, he goes down what week three insert Garner Minshew. And we never see Anthony Richardson on the sideline because he's, you know, healing and and like and like all that stuff. This season, he really had he doesn't have that backup figure. He doesn't have that fatherly figure or the mentor figure. So he definitely is a rookie still, still wet behind uh, wet behind the ears. And this is his seventh NFL game. So just just keep that in mind. But he does have Flacco there. Flacco's been in the league a long time. I'm not necessarily sure he's the type to mentor him. Um, I don't know. But like he, you're right. He is a project, um, and now he's finally getting the chance to show because he, like you said, he was hurt last year. So now it's the time for really to see what he can do. But it's like you said, you gotta, you gotta play to what he does well. Yeah. So here's the problem with Flacco. He was retired last season. The Browns called him. He was literally on 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 his couch just living life the only reason why he come back with his nine kids yeah the <laughs> the only reason why he come back this year is because he thought he could be a starter in the in the nfl that's the only reason why he come back truth of the matter is nobody wanted you last year nobody really wanted you this year the colts draft you got you by default like ah sam sam ellinger probably isn't the guy so joe come here and mentor but uh, like i said i, I kind of think joe is that really guy? Is that guy? Um, I have. He isn't very good. As in, don't, I think they're talking about don't DeMar Hamlin. Timothy Nicholas says the Chiefs will get their first loss of the season. Jameson saying Colts 24, Saint, Steelers 17. Okay. That's a little bit higher scoring than I was pro pro projecting, but I like it. I like it. John Pebbles is in the chat. What's up, John? Speaking of pigskin pundits, John's a pigskin pundit. And Sheedy... Says, who is Joe Thomas? Is that Joe Thomas? Are, are, are you referring to Mark or me? Do, I think they're referring to you, bro. Do, <laughs> you look like Joe Thomas. Do I look like Joe Thomas? <laughs> a little bit. Hmm? A little bit. I'll go by Joe Thomas. John saying Steelers 31, Colts 14. John, slow it down, baby. <laughs> 31 down points now. on this Colts defense. <laughs> oh, I mean, she. She, Alpha Rob says, Indy, I'm not sold on fields on the road. Defense travels, though, Alpha Rob. Steelers have a top five. To, actually, I, I believe they're ranked second overall right now in the league. Defense travels. Chiefs are going 20-0, and 0, says Jameson. Um, of course. Um, Kevin Cummings says, I, I, I responded to, oh, or they're having a conversation there in the, like, in the chats. And uh, I'm not even going to try to say this name. Can you try to say that, Mark? Archibald. Archibald Naomi says Field is two and zero on the road. Well, duh, the Steelers are three and zero this season. Like, I mean, it is. I mean, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> James says Falco should start and bring Richardson in to run occasionally. I don't know about that. So that's a false statement. <laughs> Uh, Joe Flacco is like 38 years old. Yes, he did ball out for four games versus the Cleveland Browns. But look who the Browns played those last four games of the season. D. 
didn't really play anybody relevant. The only time they played somebody relevant, they got blown out. And that was by the Houston Texans in the in the playoffs. So there's a reason why Joe Flacco was retired last season. And I was actually just on a show earlier talking about this, about the potential of, of the Green Bay Packers doing this as well, Mark. They said, hey, they should let Jordan Love be the quarterback from 10 to 10 and then bring in Malik in, inside the 10. And I said, if you have two quarterbacks, you have no quarterbacks. And they're like, what do you mean by that? Mark, do you know what I mean? Like when I say if you have two quarterbacks, you have no quarterbacks? Yes, it means that they're both terrible, and <laughs> there's a reason why. Like when you have a guy, you don't really need to worry about having two quarterbacks. So yes, yeah, yeah. So no, so, yeah, you need to see, stick with one, or, one or the other. It's Joe Flacco or Anthony Richardson, one or the other. You can't have both. You you can't have your cake and eat it too. I think as I guess my wife says. Uh, John says, "Get you some pigskin pundits." Of course, of course, of course, of course. But guys, who do you got? Who do you who do you got? Steelers or the Colts? Let us know in the comments below. Next up, next up, next up, we have a game. 